I'm Katie. And I'm Juliana. Today, we're going to be talking to you about the reflection, reverberation, and refraction of sound waves. Enjoy our video! Reflection is when a sound wave hits off a surface and comes back. If the wall is hard, then more of the sound wave will be reflected, but if the wall is soft, then less will be reflected and more will be absorbed. The wave's angle of incidence equals the wave's angle of reflection. In a concert hall, echoing can be a problem. You don't want to hear the sound's lyrics still echoing after the next verse starts. So architects have to make sure that they use materials that absorb some of the sound and reflect others. They use curtains and fabrics which absorb the sound. Also, some architecture in a concert hall is used to reflect the sound, like surfaces near the stage that reflect sound out towards the audience. This is just one way that we have learned to control what sound reflects and what is absorbed. Here is one real life example of reflection. When I turn my phone music on and leave it out here, away from the wall, then the music will become softer. However, when I move it towards the wall, the hard surface, the music will reflect off the wall and become louder. Refraction occurs when a sound wave transfers from one medium to another. When the wave enters in a different medium, it will usually bend. This can be due to a variety of factors, including temperature. When a medium is the same and the temperature is different inside the medium, the sound wave will always bend towards the cooler part of the medium. Sound waves will bend away from warmer mediums. One example of refraction has to do with hot air balloons. If there are three hot air balloons in the sky, one above in the warmer air, one in the middle, and one below in the colder air, and the, middle, the person in the middle hot air balloon tries to speak, then the person below in the colder hot air balloon will hear the sound waves first. This is because refraction causes sound waves to bend away from the warm air and towards the cold air. Here is one example of refraction. We fill the bottom of this tub with cold water and the top with hot water. When I hit this tuning fork against here and put it into the water, the wa sound waves from this tuning fork should cause the sound waves to bend from when it reaches the cold water from the hot water. This should work, however, we cannot see it with our eyes at this moment. Reverberation is when sound waves reflect off surfaces many times. If the wall is hard, then the, then the sound waves will be reflected more. But if the wall is soft, then the sound waves will be reflected less. The large amount of reflections that occurred are called reverberation. The sound is not as clear after these reverberations as it was before. When you hear thunder in a storm, you hear it bouncing off multiple surfaces after the first time you hear it strike. This is an example of reverberation. When the lightning strikes, the sound waves come off in the form of thunder. This relates to reverberation because the sound waves after reverberating multiple times on different surfaces, become more muffled. This is one example of reverberation. When Juliana stands in the parking structure and says the word echo, the sound waves hit off of the hard surfaces of the parking structure many times, creating reverberation. Echo! Echo! Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun and learned a lot.